In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the most versatile passing concepts out of the tight offset tight end formation in the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. And the play is called Saint Spot Shake. There's a lot we can do with this specific play. And uh, I'm going to show you as to why it's one of the best man and zone beaters in the entire uh, New Orleans Saints offensive uh, playbook. If you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure you become a Patreon member. The link to sign up for that is going to be down uh, in the description down below. All right, guys, so how, how do we want to uh, play this? All we're going to do in terms of a setup for this is we're just going to take the right side receiver, and ideally we want to run this with our running back. You could, you could have your running back to the short side or the wide side, but basically all we're going to do is we're going to put the right side receiver on a quarter route. Now, the wheel route from the running back will also uh, will be really helpful for attacking zone, which we'll get to in a minute, but against man coverage specifically, that quarter route normally will get open um, if they get that random bump that we love for Madden 23 this year um, you know obviously it, it might not be uh, but let me show you real quick we'll put this coverage on here and what you'll see is typically this corner route will get really good separation you just want to free form to the sideline and if they if they do run man that you have that quarter out over on the sideline now another route that you have let's say that they are running man coverage is you also have this quick throw wheel route to Carmichael so at the snap of the ball, you can just quickly freeform that outside. And if that little pocket is open, feel free to take that. And it, it's really good. It's really good specifically also um, against press man-to-man -man coverage. So like if they're in a situation where they're playing press man-to-man -man coverage, oftentimes you'll get a natural pick and rub. Hopefully he'll actually catch the ball, but that's the game that we play this year. And um, you know you can you can easily kind of get this out here and potentially have a big play uh, for your receiver on the sideline. So if they are playing you and man to man, uh, that's something to kind of pay attention to. Now let's say for example, that maybe they did some adjustments and maybe the adjustments um, you know, on the coverage, maybe it looked a little bit like this and they drop a little cloud flat over the middle of the field and then you know they may send some heat or, or whatever. But basically the idea here is um, another thing you can do with your running back if you wanted to play this play a little bit better against man is put him on a little Texas route over the middle. That will kind of have something coming over the middle of the field, and then you can have the quarter out on the right, and then you can have the wheel. Uh, so that gives you kind of some options. Another thing real quick is if they are playing you, um, you know, in press man-to-man -man coverage, we know that these streaks can get separation over the top if we have short out elite uh, or just some of the random bumping in general that this play is going to create. So, you know, kind of like that's a peak over the top, and that can uh, be a really good route combo on this play here. You'll see that, you know, again, one of these guys, one of these streaks that can get randomly bumped, or you get that short out elite light up, and all you do is just free form up and over the top and give yourself a chance uh, to make a big play against man. Now, where this play really shines is in what is it a, what it is able to do uh, specifically against any kind of send five pressure out of zone. These seam streaks are so good because with the wheels, it pulls the flats out and it really isolates these seam streaks. So basically, you can throw both of them um, quick. Let's show you a little bit better example here. Um, you know, but again, like let's say you know they're running a, a defense. That looks like this. If the user goes to the, if the user, basically you just throw in the opposite seam that the user's in. So like you can throw right in there. Um, for whatever reason, 3-3 Cub is really doing a great job. But like, let's say for example, that they went with something like this um, and they tried to double Mabel you, okay? If they give you something like this, which this is pretty popular, the flat routes will pull the zones out and you can throw those in those little pockets. This is really does a good job, specifically against dollar. Um, if anyone is running dollar on you, this is a pretty good way uh, to attack it because the vertical hooks they really don't they really don't defend very well. Um, just in terms of how you know if you if you're in a, a defense like this. And you're just looking for seam, seam opportunities. So if you watch this left side, even though there's a vertical hook over there, the wheel will kind of pull that vertical hook out, and I can throw that right in that little pocket just like that. So I'll get in the zone. These seam streaks are really, really good. And also if they're not playing hard flats. So like if they're not playing hard flats on the left, you could freeform that outside, take that quick throw, get you a couple, five, six, seven, eight yards. 
really does a good job of attacking the pressure. Uh, I did want to show you kind of an alternate setup too to this. Uh, this is really, really good if they are sending a lot of send five out of zone. So what you can do if they're sending five out of zone um, is just put the right side player on a hitch and then you can uh, take the left side player and just put him on a post just like this or you know you could even just do a simple hitch like this. This right here is really good because these little hitches because of the wheel routes will be wide open in the middle of the field. So this play is extremely versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. Uh, the other thing I was going to show you is this quarter route. So because of this wheel route to the running back, there's this little pocket on the right where you can freeform that to the sideline and basically complete that against cover three to the wide side of the field. When you run a wheel route to the wide side of the field, especially against cover three or cover two, it will act like a pull route for the zones. So if they don't have like a 30 yard cloud over there on the right side, the cover three will struggle to play it because of the seam streak combined with the wheel route over on that side of the field. Saint Spot Shake is an extremely versatile passing concept. Can attack both man coverage and zone coverage. If you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure that you head down to the description and go join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to do so. It'll get you access to all of my Mad Twenty Three offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video and go check out the Patreon down in the description.